What's up guys, Ross here from Consolidata and I wanna give you guys a few ideas on using the chatbot with uh, OpenAI Assistant just so that way you can really see how cool this can be but also save you some troubles that you might face if you're not thinking it through. So uh, obviously we have it set up that when a customer replies, it's going to go into the webhook. The webhook's going to come up with an answer and spit it back. And uh, one of the number one things you want to make sure you have on is allow for re-entry. Because um, when they're going back and forth in conversation, you want them to be able to continually re-enter into it. But how do you stop it when a human replies? So what I'm going to do is show you a couple ways that you could go about doing that. But what you're going to really want to do is add a filter and say that they don't have this tag um, or something of this nature. And the reason for that is because you can then either move them into a different pipeline stage or uh, have some sort of automation that when a human's like, okay, I'm ready to take it over, maybe the human, uh, because a human's taken over, moves it into a different pipeline stage, a tag gets applied, and now it won't continue to go back into here because you need it to be able to allow to re-entry for conversation flow, but some people you just don't want them back in there. So if they have that tag on, then they won't go in. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing that you can do is you could create a split in your webhooks. Let's say that you, um, you need basically two bots. You need a support bot and you need a sales bot. Now, while you technically could train one bot to do both, it will be better and more accurate if you've got two different bots here. We'll just say that this is your sales bot and that this is your support bot. What you would want to do is a support bot is typically somebody that is already a customer. So you would basically want to set it up that, you know, here's your workflow trigger that a customer replies if they have the tag, for instance, customer, that they're going to go to the support bot. And then this would just be a webhook that goes to a different assistant inside of OpenAI. And then for the sales, if it says if there is nothing that says customer, if they don't have that tag, then they go to the sales bot. So now you can work with these two different flows. So you can see how um, you can start customizing them because you can use multiple assistants inside of one go high level. There's no reason why you can't. All you would do is set up your assistant differently. Now I'm going to really quickly give you guys just a couple tips on setting up your assistant. Now, if you wanna go a little bit more into depth, I do have a local domination course that walks you through how to set up your bot, but I'm just gonna teach you guys just a quick logical flow. And actually maybe I'll just pull up the whiteboard one more time as to what I do. Because what I've noticed is a lot of people just say a prompt, like you are friendly, you are this, you are that, blah, 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 blah. That's okay. But think about it like if you were training an employee. Um, here is your role. Here is how I expect you to act. Here is how I want the conversation flow. And then you can step one, step two, step three, step four. Step one might be... Uh, it, let's say it was for solar, find out uh, their zip code. Step two could be what it, figure out their electric bill. So I have found that if you don't give it specific things to say, it works better because it sounds more human-like. You'll notice people have said, well, your bot sounds so realistic. That's because I don't say, say this. I say figure out what the figure out their electric bill cost. You know, figure out what their zip code is and then it's going to ask it in its own friendly way. But if I say next say this, it's going to say exactly what I told it to do. Now, one little tip is that you could say if they say this, move to step 2A. If they say this, move to step 2B. So you can actually split these up based off their intent. 
Then you copy that flow, you put that into your AI assistant, and that's how I set them up. It's pretty darn simple. I teach a few cool little tips and tricks in that program, um, but you know that's neither here nor there. If you're interested in that, just message me, and we don't have a sales page or anything like that, but we do. We can just send you a link to get in. Uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully it gives you some ideas. It's really easy to set up a bot inside of Consolidata. Let me really quickly just log in here and just give you an example as to how simple it is. You go to Dash Hub, open AI automation, and then what you're going to do is add an automation. You would uh, grab whichever go high level location you want. You choose, you know, for instance, that location, you put your open AI API key in the assistant ID, you hit save and boom, it's done. Now when messages come, then you got to go set up your workflow where you set up the trigger that basically if a customer replies, that's all you have to do, that it goes to the webhook and then you put the webhook data in uh, or the webhook URL and that's it. It's, it's very, very simple. Now it's just going to automatically go, no need to know any coding or anything like that. Okay, guys, appreciate you. Have an awesome day. Have a good weekend. It's snowing like crazy here, but um, we'll see you soon.